start of the Class 4A sectional at Floyd Central. One semifinal had New Albany playing Jennings County. Final quarter, higher seed New Albany in trouble. Jennings County moving the ball around with a 10-point lead. Sidney Gherkin for a three. New Albany can't buy a basket. Another dog's miss. Gherkin with the rebound, and they go the other way. Eventually to Bailey be fawned for another Jennings County. Three Panthers by 16 points. Jennings County wins it in an upset, 59-47. The Panthers and head coach Christy Sigler in her first year on the job advanced to the sectional final with an 11-14 record. We prepared all week. This is a position that we wanted to be in, and our girls fought. They really just fought. You guys were hitting everything out there. They were. They, they were. We could not have asked for a better start, and they just they continued. There were times when New Albany made runs, and we just fought. So staying in that sectional, we've got some more playoff basketball tonight. Jeffersonville taking on Bedford North Lawrence. And uh, Jeff with the ball, they get it to Jayla Henry, and she connects on a three there. Now later, we've got more from Bedford. This is Jory Allen. Uh, she gets the rebound. She maintains it, and then she's going to take this all the way in herself. Uh, gets the layup and the foul. Uh, so three points there. Uh, and also the three-point shot falling for wow. Jeff tonight. It's Henry with another one. But Bedford takes this 44-34, and we'll move on to play Jennings County. More Indiana girls sectional basketball. This in the class 2A semifinal at Providence Paoli. At Eastern Peak in first quarter, Paoli with the ball down low to Keaton Chastain, who puts in between three different Eastern players. Then Eastern Peak and right back, Rachel Stewart with the drive, and it rolls in for the Musketeers. It stayed close the rest of the way. Paoli's Bela Bredder to Chastain for the score. That was Brewer, rather. Eastern Peak and advances to the sectional final with an 18-7 record for nosing out Paoli, 43-40. All right, checking in on some girls basketball on this side of the river. Sacred Heart, a solid season for the Valkyries, and they hosted Atherton tonight. This one in control from Sacred Heart. Caroline Flaherty comes up with the steal and comes up with two points out of it. They really just had things rolling tonight. Pass going inside to Sierra Scott, and she's got plenty of room to work there. 14 points for Scott. Valkyries in transition again. This time, Natalie Fitcher's the one that beats everyone down court. Sacred Heart wins 85-28. It's like a girls basketball at Western. The Warriors hosting number one Butler, the WLKY. School of the Week, fresh off its third LIT win in four years, gunning for its third state title in four years, first quarter early moments. One of the few Western highlights, Destiny Love with the score for the Warriors, but this was all Butler from the opening bell, from the outside to the inside, back to the outside, Tasia Jeffries for a three. More Barretts, uh, the rebound down the court, they go eventually to Tasia again. Butler opens the game with a 15-4 run and draws away, won it easily 77-22 for a 25th straight win. Just three regular season games left. The Barretts next game, a huge showdown Wednesday night at Sacred Hearts.